The LTK Distinguished Service Award was established in 1973 to honor one of the floral industry's finest leaders, Leland T. Kensel. As the sales manager for Denver Wholesale Florist, Lee was well known for his knowledge of the floral industry and for the energy and enthusiasm displayed toward his lifelong career. A tireless advocate for the floral industry, Lee supported Wolfsa in many capacities, including three terms as president from 1963 to 1966. During his tenure, Lee did a great deal to advance the association as well as the entire wholesale floral industry. It is that spirit that we celebrate today. These four words are the cornerstones of the LTK Distinguished Service Award. Each recipient was chosen because they displayed these characteristics in a way that set them apart from their contemporary. Those honored by this prestigious award have their names etched into a sterling silver perpetual tray that is kept at Wolfsa headquarters in Annapolis, Maryland. name will be added this year. Great pioneers don't forge ahead because it's easy. They do it because they have to. By taking risks and leading the way, pioneers make it easier for those who follow. This takes confidence, diplomacy, and often a sense of humor, qualities that our 2004 LTK winner has in abundance. If you were to ask this year's honoree why you are being honored, the reply probably would be, because I've never wanted to be anywhere else but the floral industry, except maybe a Nebraska football game. Perhaps Arlene's confidence comes from being the eldest child born to DeWitt and Irene Barber. Quite possibly, her sense of humor comes from her close relationship with her younger sister, Betty. We assume her fondness for Cornhuskers football started as a co-ed at the University of Nebraska and a member of Kappa Delta Sorority. But we know, without a doubt, that for Arlene Barber, her love of business and love of family go hand in hand. In 1954, the newly married Arlene and husband Harold Sorensen opened Lincoln Wholesale Florist with Arlene's parents, DeWitt and Irene. Here, Arlene combined the most important aspects of her young life, husband, parents, and business into one. It can be said that diplomacy, the skill of dealing with people and knowing how to quietly make things happen, gets its start in a family business. Arlene Sorensen certainly knew how to get things done. Arlene and Harold were the only full-time employees in the beginning, selling fresh flowers and greens to area florists. DeWitt traveled, selling hard goods for the J.A. Kunkel Company. Mother Irene was the fledgling company's part-time bookkeeper. Harold's brother, Phil, was the company's first delivery driver. In the late 50s and early 60s, Lincoln Wholesale Florist expanded a total of three times. A complete line of floral supplies and hard goods were added in 1960 when Arlene and Harold led the company to purchase the J.A. Kunkel Company. In 1962, they added an 80-foot by 80-foot warehouse and moved to their current location. As the company grew, so did Arlene and Harold's family, first with the birth of Bert and then Lee. The 1970s brought heartbreak and challenges. When Arlene lost her father in 1970, her mother in 1977, and then tragically, Harold just a few years later in 1979. Through it all, Arlene's pioneering spirit stood fast. In an era of few female business leaders, Arlene assumed the presidency and control of Lincoln Wholesale Florist, growing the company from two full-time employees to ten. 
Today, Lincoln Wholesale Florist serves gift shops, interior design studios, and retail florists throughout the Lincoln area and is a leader in educational programs for its customers. But that's only part of the story. The quiet air of diplomacy surrounding Arlene soon gave way to full political action as she set out to bring about change for businesses on a state and local level. As a trailblazing businesswoman, Arlene was the second female chair of the Lincoln Chamber of Commerce. There, she charted a new direction and drafted policies that are still in effect today. She is a board member of the State Chamber of Commerce, a member of the Lincoln Partnership for Economic Development, and past president of Lincoln Independent Business Association. She is a member of the Lincoln Rotary Club, as well as the National Rotary Club. She is a member of the National Association of Women Business Owners. Serving at the pleasure of the Nebraska Governor Ben Nelson and Lincoln Mayor Mike Johans, Arlene served on numerous boards and held several committee appointments. She is a member of the Board of Gateway Manor, the Advisory Council for the Department of Horticulture and the University of Nebraska, Lincoln, and the Nebraska Board of Landscape Architects. As a parent, when both sons attended Nebraska Wesleyan University, she became the first president to serve for the Parents Association and further served on the Community Advisory Board for the Department of Business Administration and Economics as well as the Board of Governors. She has been recognized for her amazing business and community involvement with the Small Business Administration Achiever Award and the Lincoln Independent Business Golden Eagle Award. Her infectious sense of humor and deep commitment was honored with the Executive Clown Corps Golden Nose Award. The University of Nebraska honored her with their Business Administration Alumni Association Business Award and the Entrepreneur of the Year Award. All that, and we haven't yet mentioned Arlene's overwhelming contributions to the industry that, for over 40 years, she has made her own. While on the board of the Society of American Florists, she helped set strategic plans and served on almost every committee. From awards and conventions to finance and government relations, she did it all. As president of the Nebraska Florist Society, she demonstrated great leadership when at a 1980s Namokan Tri-State Convention, she spoke about the effects of change in the marketplace. She saw change in product and product distribution diversity in markets and the shifting of traditional customer bases. She encouraged everyone to embrace change in order to grow and better serve the final customer. Sometimes her methods could prove a little harsh but effective. She continued her campaign of change as a council member of the National Promo Floor Council where she brought us Buzz the Bee. As the um spokesbee of the floral industry Buzz's job was to develop, maintain, and expand markets for fresh-cut flowers and greens. He reminded consumers that flowers are perfect for any occasion and, of course, make people feel good. We could almost say the same about Arlene. She has often been referred to as a political powerhouse. During her numerous 23 years and counting visits to our nation's capital for political action days, Arlene's been welcomed by congressmen and senators with the reverence and respect that comes from being a leader for policy affecting our industry. She brought forth a quiet storm of confidence on issues and the ability to see and bring about change. At Wolfsa, we are proud that Arlene blazed yet another trail by serving as our first female president. As president, she's brought us from campy conventions to the campus of Wake Forest University for the Wolfsa Management Institute. She's given roses to the famous in Las Vegas and showed us all the importance of industry-wide marketing by wearing roses in St. Petersburg. She's visited Maui, Monterey, and Denver, but doesn't keep score. Well, not unless it's with Chuck Johnson when Nebraska defeats Colorado. Arlene remains an ever-present force in Wolfsa. She continues her involvement and always looks for ways to further our mission and goals. Her dedication continues to be unwavering in her home state. 
for her devotion to the floral industry and the state of Nebraska, she was inducted to the state's Nebraska Hall of Fame. She's also been the recipient of the American Floral Endowment, Living Tribute, and AIFD Award of Merit. Her two greatest achievements, Bert and Lee, have added to the joy in her life with grandchildren Ashley and Jeremy and daughters-in-law Toth and Christina. Lee has been by his mother's side in the family business and has been on hand for many of her tributes and witness to her great successes. He is poised to take Lincoln Wholesale Florist to its next generation. It is Arlene Barber Sorensen's wisdom, leadership, creativity, diplomacy, energy, love, and humor that we honor here today with the 2004 LTK Award. Perhaps her dear friends Mel and Joey Schwanke sum it up best. We truly consider Arlene to be one of the most respected, capable, and knowledgeable women in the floral industry. We agree. <laughs>